This that guy in the red hat, he doing the same thing I'm doing. He doing the same thing I'm doing. He's shooting videos about his terminal. You can see him talking to him, so. Yeah, uh, this is what I had to do. Yeah, I'm on that Western Express terminal, I'm not sure. That's them right there. I had to refresh one of these, like I said. This is the old one that I'm using. See, it's cracked. I just went in the seating trailer to get a fresh one. I just got it just about a couple of minutes ago. He said throw that old one away and go on the website and activate the new one. Shit, rain's starting to fall. I gotta hit the truck. I came here to get a new tablet. That's the reason why my truck is here. Rain's falling, man. I hope I don't get stuffed out too quick. But the cell phone right here is getting wet. The cell phone getting wet. I'm going my truck right here. Shit. I don't believe this. Damn rain's far, man. Shoot. Hey, sorry about the interruption, man. I was supposed to be walking around doing something else. I didn't finish doing what I was doing. But anyway. Yeah, this is a Nashville terminal. This is this is the main terminal where they got all the trucks. That's where this, that's where my truck came from. I picked it up brand new over in the body shop. Right next to the body shop. That's where the new ones are. Yeah, I've been shooting videos about this these brand new trucks already, like three times. But I'm not gonna do no more. I mean, I'm doing this video for some other reason. So that's what I'm doing. I came here one o'clock in the morning. And I logged out on the computer and I bobbed till over to Pilot. I bobbed till over to Pilot last night, like one o'clock. And I filled up some jugs of water and came back. And that's when I came back here and took a nap. So now since it's seven o'clock, no, it's past seven o'clock. I went inside that uh, mechanic shop. I mean, uh, what do you call it? One of the main office. And I checked in. I was gonna check in on the kiosk, but I stopped because this, this lady on the right side, she decided to check me in on the desktop computer in her office, so I checked in through the desktop. I gave them my truck number, mileage, and told them comments about why my truck is here, and I said I need a new tablet, and that's it. And I gotta get this replaced. So, I just showed you the brand new fuel card I picked up. And I showed you the condition of the old one. Oh yeah, and um, I did go into the dispatch office right there. Behind this, in front of this trailer. Oh man, damn. This is part of it right here. I went inside that uh, mechanic shop and got this. I gotta get a new IFTA sticker, two of them. I did mention the decal is also expired, but they gave me this also. I guess this is a registration. No, hold on. This is a fuel tax. I don't know why she gave me that. She must have been tripping out. Anyway, this right here, all right. They said I gotta talk to my DM about the 1099. When I went in the dispatch office, the tablet for the truck, I just told you that. I went to the mechanic shop where they checked in. And I did get a fresh fuel card, you just saw that. But the 1099, something tells me that my DM is gonna give me runarounds. He's gonna 
force me to go on the website and do all that crap. I'm not gonna like this. I wanna see if I could get it done over here without me going on the website because it doesn't work when I do it. So I guess maybe I better just sit in the truck and just wait because I'm here running around trying to get things done. Not only It's not only raining outside, I'm not gonna take a chance and waste waste this it's starting to get folded already it's brand new if it's a sticker for 22 I'm gonna wait till it stop raining I'm gonna just wipe the side of the truck off as a matter of fact I think I'll go ahead and pull off those old ones <coughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna remove those old ones myself I'm gonna get a razor blade or something I'm gonna pull the old ones off and replace it. Or maybe, you know, if they don't come off, I'll just plaster the blue ones over the green or the red ones. Yeah, it had to go rain. So I guess they checked me in at the desk instead of the kiosk, so I don't have to use a kiosk. Yeah, this crap right here that they're doing, it seemed like they've been doing all kinds of things behind my back since I've been away that many times. They organize themselves all right, but that pre-trip crap, I don't like it. I want to do it myself. Not only that, I, I already beat them anyway, so I already, I'm, a, I'm way ahead of them. It's like, that. It's, it's a good thing I came in late last night, but the thing is, Anytime around 5 o'clock, that's when they disappear. They don't check you in. You don't go through that booth when you when you pop into this terminal or the Richmond terminal. Um, Bethlehem. Bethlehem and... Um, what do you call it? Bethlehem and Virginia. No, wait a minute. Start over again. Bethlehem and Connecticut. The Connecticut terminal and Bethlehem, they don't do this. Richmond, Virginia... And this one does it. They got that uh, DOT booth or whatever you call it. The inspection booth. And as soon as a truck pops in here, then that's when they... I think... I think they only go in there when you're bobbed here. I'm not sure. If you're with a trailer, I don't know. I think if you if they catch your bobtail and they do a DOT inspection. Because I see bobtails up in there. But when I came here last night, it was just me alone driving around in the terminal. This was the only truck moving. No other truck was moving. Every truck was parked. Maybe two or three trucks was left running, hooked up to trailers. And they was all uh, sleeping. Everybody was asleep. There was, there was no human beings at all. Now you see living people moving around. I was the only thing moving out, moving in. And that female in the guard shack, or, I mean in the checkpoint she was the only one that was active so I did my routine I grabbed my jugs of water and fill them up in case I got to take a bath on this truck because I don't know what what to expect and um, I got my food stored away in the refrigerator at least I don't have to spend no money go to no truck stop or nothing yeah back to the story one thing I don't like about that I hate when they get paranoid and start talking crap. Anyways, since my truck's been in Freightliner in um, Pompano Beach about a month and a half ago, um, I mean it stayed in in a it stayed in Freightliner a month and a half, and now since I got the truck back, they don't have to do nothing to this truck at all. I knocked out the I paid for the fuel filter because loves fucked up the last time and you know they're just about messing me up they didn't, I, I watched them they messed up so I bought my fuel filter and went to another Loves and they put a fresh one in and what else happened Freightliner took care of the DLT inspections and the recalls I told that I told that lady up there at the, the, um, the desk up in the mechanic shop um Freightliner knocked out the recalls and they did the mechanic work and all that stuff. 
And they said that, um, oh, that lady said that we're not going to touch your truck unless you, you tell us to. That's good. That makes me feel more comfortable. That gives me a peace of mind. Thank God. I'm glad I heard that. Because I told her the reason why I'm so paranoid and sensitive is because the last time I came in here, like last year, like around April when I was when I first went lease purchase underneath that shelter. Yeah, it's like they were holding me hostage and they you know, I told her that they like to get paranoid and mess with other parts of the truck that they don't need to touch and hooking up laptop computers to see what's wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? They was acting like that, you know, you know when I was up in there, like last year. But anyways, she said, she started getting curious and then she said, are you lease purchased? And I said, yes. So that's the reason why she started figuring out. But anyways, I was already paranoid when I was a company driver for this truck. And I told Connecticut, yo, if y'all don't know what you're doing, please, please leave it alone. And them is grown adults, you know, them is grown men and women. And they're acting like two year old children. And then they just back off and said, okay, all right, we're not gonna do anything. And that's, that's the reason why when I shot that video sometime last year or whatever, and I was there complaining about Connecticut, and they said, you remember that part when I'm, I did a physical demonstration at that one part when I was complaining about uh, Western Express touching this truck? You remember when I turned the cell phone up towards the curtain and then I said, no, nah, no, nah, we can't fix this. No, nah, you're going to have to get somebody. Do you remember when I meant, you remember when I did that demonstration? I don't know if you can remember, but anyways, I probably erased it. So, um, all I could say is that that's what Connecticut said. All three human beings, they said that they don't know how to, what do you call it, do anything about the optimized item. They can't adjust the parameters or do anything to it. They can't fix it. So that's telling me that I cannot trust them. They was getting ready to, one of them guys was getting ready to take apart the entire rear end. Like he started popping out the cabinets. He started saying that this truck doesn't have a bunk heater and all that crap. I said, man, this, this bitch got to get out of here. I don't like this. Motherfuckers about scared the piss out of me, I swear. All three of them said that they can't do nothing about it. Nah, they can't fix it. But anyways, after that, last year in 21, when I went to Bethlehem to do something about the optimized idol, all right, one of their mechanics did do something about it. I'm, think, I'm thinking Bethlehem is the best truck terminal out of everybody. Now. This one... You could see it's all colorful and franchise, and it's all spiff. It's the biggest truck com no, excuse me. It's the biggest truck terminal out of all the other ones. I don't. I never seen California and what do you call it, Arkansas or whatever. I never seen those other ones. But this, this one looks like the main deal, man. I just discovered another building over there I never seen before. The seating trailer, they took the seating trailer away. That little shallow rundown um, trailer. It's no longer a seating trailer. I think they got some other building. They call it seating. That's where I just went. That's where I got the fuel card. And the first time I picked up my first fuel card, what that you just saw, which is now cracked, I picked it up over here on the left side. That's when that old seating trailer was there. That's when I came out of orientation. But anyways, this is two years later now. This is like two years and three months later. And I've been on this job two years and three months. So now I just got a second uh, fuel car. So, excuse me, man. I just got some gas in my throat. Anyway, I... um. What did I do? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention this. That loaded trailer I was on, the one I told you about yesterday when I was at that... Um, yesterday, I shot a video when I was at that um, pickup. What do you call it? 
I was at that one customer where I never been been before. And y'all saw that rider truck with a red stripe right next to me on the passenger side. Yeah, um, I'm not taking that to South Carolina. I told y'all yesterday. I did mention yesterday that I was coming here to Nashville to get that tablet taken out. I mean, replaced. So I already dropped the trailer somewhere over by the body shop. So... I kept looking for a spot to park, and then it says Bob Teal Parking, so I parked right here. I was in the rest area last night. I got tired. I mean, I got drowsy and sleepy. So I stayed in the rest area. I didn't, I wanted to sit a half hour, but it looked like I went an hour, one hour, one and a half. I forgot. But anyways, I came over here. The log computer went into violation. I went past my hours of driving. So now, I, since I got here, I went off duty, then I logged out. I logged out the computer. And that's when I went driving down the pilot to um, get, get some jugs of water. It was just me alone the whole step of the way. The whole town was deserted. The whole terminal was deserted. Just one female up in there. And the truck stop was also deserted, except one truck was backing in. There was nothing. I didn't see nothing. You know, it's like maybe one or two cars was out on the street. And that's it. I was the only thing floating around this whole place, man. Anyways, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like going no further. I'm in a heap of mess, man. I'm telling you. The part that's really scaring me right now, I haven't done my tax return since I started this job. I wouldn't expect it in 2020, but 2021 somewhere I should have done it. Or maybe 22, but 21 I should have done it. I haven't done any of it. So I guess um, I gotta wait for this DM. It's 8.14 now. Hold on, it's 8.14. I guess I'm gonna try to text him or call him or send a message on the Qualcomm and ask him about the 1099. They keep telling me to do it on the website, on the app, but it's not working. The app's not working. Yeah, I'm starting to get starved. Got that oatmeal. I'm going to get that microwave in a minute. I should pull these curtains away right about now. I'm going to wait till that weather clear up. I'm going to put this stuff on. I guess this is going to go in my registration book. I told her, man. It seemed like it seemed like they got a weak side. They don't listen to you when, you, when you're talking. I'm talking about Western Express. They got a clumsy, dangerous side, man. It's like I told her about this sticker, the decal on the, on the front license tag. It's supposed to have the correct year, just like your car, your personal car. Like, I don't know, maybe it's not important, I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna waste my time going after that. If DLT doesn't, if that doesn't concern them, I don't care. Because I'm, I'm not even running into them anyway, so I'm taking care of myself pretty good. I ain't going to worry about that tag. I'm going to just worry about the IFTA sticker. That's the most important one. Anyway, I'm, my stomach's starting to get empty. I've been working out every day now. I've been doing push-ups and squats like any amount of times during the day since the last... All right, since the time this truck came out, I've been doing that way before that. But when I was in that hotel in uh, Georgia and when I came to my uncle's house and y'all saw that video of me throwing the death fuel in. All right. Um, it seemed like since I came on this truck just about a short while ago, I started maxing out. I started doing like five. No, wait a minute. I did three reps, four reps push-ups and squats 
and I kept coming back to it. I, I would drive for two hours and then pull over and keep doing it. Then I'll do three more. So I've been doing like three, six, nine, twelve. I've been doing twelve reps. I've been doing push-ups and squats twelve times in one day. <laughs> I mean, I can't help it, man. I gotta stay like that. I've been doing that to Navajo's truck way back in 2008, 2007. Especially 2008, that was my first time maxing out 80 and 90 push-ups, three reps. And then I'll drive for two hours and pull over again and do it again. I can't help it. I got this, what do you call it? I can't find a name for it. It's, it's like when you have an overdose of doing too much of one thing, when you got the habitual, you got a habitual um, attitude towards something, it's like when you when you indulge in some kind of physical activity, you just stay hooked. That's me, you know. Because I used to look a lot better, man. I mean, I ain't so bad now. You can see I ain't fat or nothing. You can see, then you know, I, I'm scared to say it. I'm 51 years old. I'm scared to say it, but I might look kind of slim to you, but I've been better than that. I could actually drop off more body fat than, than what I got right now. And I could gain more, you know, I ain't big or nothing, but I could look strong if I want. So it's like I'm trying to put myself back in the same condition I was in in 2008. But um, all I got to say, I can't believe this. This is what surprised me, excuse me. Them gray, them gray um, Freightliner Cascadias, they're starting to come back with the fresh ones. How come I don't see them over at the body shop? I just bobtailed over there last night and they're starting to chop down the size now. They don't have as much like they used, they don't have as much as the white ones like they used to, the ones with the deer guard. I just saw two fresh gray Freightliner Cascadias. I'm guessing they must be 22s. Maybe 23s now, I don't know. And I did see one brand new Volvo just right on the other side of this truck, like way down in the corner. When I was coming back from that seating trailer with a fuel card, I saw one fresh, brand new, probably a 23 or a 22 Volvo. I just saw one, I swear. I'm not lying, unless you want me to get out and, and show you. They said that they stopped, me, they stopped bringing Volvos in. They're not, they're not bringing Volvos in Western Express. I guess they lied. I know I saw it down there. I, would, I wouldn't mind walking right now, but I just don't feel like going outside. I just saw it way down there, man. I checked it out and everything. It was all fresh. Anyway, hold up a second. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to get that cereal and everything out. Like, so I do my shit, man. What I usually do, that, this, and that's about it. That's what part of it. What I got down here. It's been it's getting bone dry now. I'm using this low fat milk. And I got, got uh, this right here. I got my apples. Freezing cold, man. I dropped it low. All right. Let me just hurry up and do this real quick, and I'm going to cut this video because I don't feel like doing this now. I'm starting to get hungry, man. I guess the reason why is because when I was too busy driving these trucks and I didn't exercise at all and I stopped doing it, I never used to feel hungry, but I'm now I'm starting to feel hungry. 
Yeah, because my body's working hard now. I'm back into doing, I did like 12, 12 reps in one day. Now I kept coming back every two hours. Now I'm, I'm doing push-ups back there and I'm working out. So I'm starting to get hungry now. I'm using up my um, resource. Let me see if I can find it. Shit, it's still raining out here, man. Put my hood on. I saw it here somewhere. Oh, it's way down that side. I got 25 minutes left. I forgot the name of that video I, I did yesterday. It said, um, damn, I forgot, I forgot. I can't remember. Let me try. Ah, uh, shit. I don't remember, man. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll put the same thing down. I'll put the same name or something. And then put part two, I guess. I'm gonna try not to make myself look like a suspect. I know I saw it down here somewhere. There it is, I see it. You can't tell me that this son of a bitch is not brand new because it's got one of them. Uh, there it is right here. Oh shit, 2020. Nah, this is brand new. Yeah, that's it. It's brand new. Shit. That's just one. I don't see any other like it. Where did they get that brand new one? They're probably just starting to roll in. And they short. It's like when I first had that white Cascadia that y'all saw me driving all this time. The one that went in the shop and been through all kinds of crap. The one that I'm least purchasing right now. All right, when they first mentioned 111, well, I don't want to say it. When they first mentioned my truck number, when they told me, all right, when I was in one of them old 2017, and they told me I had to move into this new, this other truck, they didn't tell me it was brand new. I thought I was going to be stuck in one of those used white ones that already came out because I used to see them. They never had the deer guard in the front. And I got disappointed because I didn't want to deal with that optimized idle shit on, the, on that truck. On those trucks, excuse me. So, since I was just asking them if I could get a Volvo instead, like one of those, like the one you just saw, the brand new one. And they said that they're not making any more Volvos. Plus, yeah, they said they're not making any more Volvos. But now I see a fresh one up in there. Anyways, I'm not moving from this truck. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping this one. The reason why, the reason why I say I'm keeping this one is because um, when I first came to get this truck brand new, I was walking down behind the towards the body shop, and then I asked this mechanic, and he said, "Where do?" You, where do, you, where do you get uh, 11107? And he said, you mean the new trucks? Yeah, they're right behind the, just, they're right behind the body shop. And I said, oh, oh shit, I'm getting a brand new truck? I didn't know that. They didn't tell me, they didn't tell me it was brand new. They just said, they just gave me the truck number. I knew it was a white Cascadia. I thought it was a used one from another driver, but they never mentioned it was brand new. And then when I saw it in person, that's when I saw the deer guard and, 
I saw like a hundred of them packed up next to each other. I said, oh shit, this 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 looks intense, man. And when I sat in it, I, I still couldn't believe it was mine. I couldn't believe that, that, I'm, that I'm sitting in it. I couldn't believe that the white cascaders with the deer guard, the new ones, they're much better than the gray ones, like the one my trainer had. When I sat in that truck, man, and I turned it on, the sweetest, most intense, raw feeling came over me. That's the reason why I'm hooked on this truck. I can't let go of it. So now, since I already got it, this is my last, I'm, this is my third time saying it, or my fourth time. This is my last, best um, semi-truck in my entire life. I really mean it. To you, you're over there saying that it's, it ain't nothing but shit. Well, it's full of shit, yes, but I like it. I got a love for it. That's the reason why I dive up in there getting so paranoid. I'm trying to tell Western Express to take their filthy hands off the rest of the truck. Just knock out the fucking Qualcomm and get it out of the way. Because I'm in a hurry. I mean, I don't want them messing with it. They already showed me their bad side. You see, that's what I'm so paranoid about. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing all of this. And you wouldn't be seeing that airflow deflector on that bumper. Because I actually spent $2,000 for both of them. Combined. I spent... $1,000 on the bumper to match the airflow deflector you just saw. That's the reason why it looks so close to the floor. Yeah, this is my last best semi truck. I don't give a shit how many you see. That's the way I feel about it. But anyways, all I can say is that it looks like, um, <laughs> I don't know why they said they're not bringing in any more Volvos, I just saw a brand new one. I'm pretty sure it's brand new. That was not washed. It's got a 20 sticker on there, but the thing is, I know a fresh truck when I see it. I could tell, I could tell by looking at its condition and the, you know, there's no such thing as aluminum we, you know, like aluminum wheels looking so clean and spotless. It's got to have some kind of varnish or stain on it. Even if it was washed, you would see cracks. You would see certain varnishes and stuff like that. Then you'll know it's a used truck that's clean. Anyways, this thing is fixing to cut off. And I got to do what I got to do. I'm sick and tired of being on this phone for so long. I got to eat my breakfast back here. All right. If I got something else to say, I'll let you all know. Check you out later.